Hi there, and welcome back. In this unit, we'll cover queries in Web8. More specifically, we'll talk about different tools from query functions, vector search parameters to filters, as well as to talk about how Web8 performs these queries behind the scenes. Now, after you're done with the unit, you'll have a good idea of how to apply these tools to get the information you need, as well as to have a good idea of what's happening when you run these queries. We'll show you how to get matching objects from Web8 and to aggregate information about groups of objects. And we'll also show you different, flexible ways in which you can perform vector searches in Web8. We'll cover vector search parameters called near vector, near object, and near text. You'll learn how these methods offer different pathways to help you find the data you're looking for and how they ultimately work in the same way despite having different inputs. And you'll learn about filters, which you can use to place limitations on your search. For example, you learn how to use filters to search for data objects that include particular text or meet numerical ranges. You'll also learn how filters can help you to produce pagination so that you can efficiently relay groups of results to the user. Throughout this unit, you'll also gain insights into the inner workings of Weaviate, like these vector search parameters and how Web8 uses these filters. These insights will not only help you to understand how Web8 works, but also to help you to use Web8, including in later units, where we'll be populating our own instances of Web8 with data. So, by the end of this unit, you'll have a big complement of tools at your disposal, which you can use to find information you want from Web8. We'll be using Python in this unit. So, before we begin, make sure that you have a Python 3 environment set up with the Web8 Python client library installed. Please also make sure to take a look at the prerequisite units that are listed below. Now that we've set the scene, let's get started. We'll see you in the next section.